William McKinley was the 25th President of the United States. He served as President from March 4, 1897 until his assassination on September 14, 1901. At the time of his death, he was serving his second term and Theodore Roosevelt was his Vice President. On September 14, 1901, Leon Chogosh assassinated McKinley. The incident occurred on September 6, 1901, when McKinley was standing in a receiving line at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. At the time, he was in the Temple of Music building. Leon was in this line where he was holding a 36 Johnson automatic revolver pistol hiding under a handkerchief. Leon shot him twice in the chest, wounding McKinley. Before he collapsed forward, he is reported to have said, be careful how you tell my wife. Eight days later, on September 14, 1901, McKinley died. One bullet had punctured his sternum and the other had entered his gut. But on September 14, McKinley died from gangrene. Vice President Theodore Roosevelt was then sworn in as president. You are watching Edison's footage of McKinley's funeral. The footage shows the procession entering West Lawn Cemetery in Canton, Ohio. In the film, you can see the black horses of Troop A of Cleveland, Ohio, which are followed by the Grand Army of the Republic escort. Then comes the hearse on either side of which march the admirals of the Navy and the generals of the Army. The hearse is followed by the carriage of the family and friends. Then comes the National Guard of Ohio, including the famous 1st Regiment of Cincinnati. Following them, the soldiers of the United States Navy. Before going to Ohio for the funeral procession, the remains of the late president arrived in Washington at 8.30 p.m. on Monday, the 16th of September, 1901. They were then escorted to the executive mansion by a squadron. The next morning, McKinley was taken to the Capitol where he lay in state in the rotunda. The following day, the remains were taken to the train depot of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and as you saw in earlier footage, he was taken to the funeral procession to his final resting place in Canton, Ohio.
The pallbearers were off-duty officers of the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps from Canton, Ohio. The Army was assigned to the right side of the hearse, and the Navy and Marine Corps on the left. After McKinley's body was returned to Ohio, the McKinley National Memorial Association was organized. Construction began on his mausoleum in 1905. Public funds were raised and nine different states donated materials used in the memorial. The memorial was completed in 1907. Ida McKinley died that very same year so she was laid to rest next to her husband in the memorial chamber. William McKinley Presidential Library and Museum, a private nonprofit organization under the umbrella of the Stark County Historical Society, administers the memorial and its grounds. So what happened to Leon? Leon was a Polish immigrant who grew up in Detroit and had worked as a child laborer in a steel mill. As an adult, he believed in socialist and anarchist ideology. When asked why he killed McKinley, he felt that McKinley was the head of a corrupt government. Leon was sentenced to death by electrocution. His last words were, I killed the president because he was the enemy of the good people, the good working people. I am sorry for my crime. I am sorry I could not see my father. He was executed by three jolts, each of 1,800 volts, in Auburn State Prison in New York on October 29, 1901, 45 days after McKinley's death. He was pronounced dead at 7.14 a.m. His brother asked the warden for Leon's body to be taken for a proper burial but he was informed that he would never be able to take the body away because crowds of people would mob him. An autopsy was performed and showed that Leon was in good health. Then a death mass was made of his face. Prison authorities had planned to intern the body with quicklime to hasten its decomposition but decided otherwise after testing a sample of meat. After determining they were not legally limited to use quicklime for the process, they poured sulfuric acid into his coffin so that the body would be completely disfigured. The warden estimated that the acid caused the body to disintegrate within 12 hours. Leon's clothes and possessions were burned in the prison incinerator so that they would not end up on display. Leon was buried in the Soul Cemetery, New York. He was buried in a mass grave with other inmates with a plaque reading, Fort Hill Remains. <laughs>